courting the Chinese vote in Sydney with local MPs and candidates, including Fiona Martin. Scott Morrison seeking to draw on the large Chinese community to get her elected in Reid. You won't hear from me, as you heard from the New South Wales Labor leader recently, that Chinese or Asian people take your jobs. Talking up his lower house team while the coalition relationship was breaking down over the campaign for the New South Wales Senate. Tensions over the below the line campaign to re-elect Jim Molan have now boiled over with the Nationals telling its members to ignore the coalition ticket in what they call an extraordinary step. We need every one of our members to vote below the line for Perrin Davey and Sam Faraway, the state director and state chairman said in a message to members. Despite saying Jim Molan's campaign breaks the coalition agreement, the Nationals wouldn't say the same of their own move. Still supportive of the two Libs getting in. It's been a good relationship. It's been left so long that the... Uh, Number two Liberals uh, will be certain of being re-elected. It's only a battle for that third. This comes on top of anger in the Liberals over Jim Molan's campaign, taking campaigners away from polling booths in marginal seats. The Senate stoush does nothing to help the Coalition, highlighting internal division in the Coalition. It's another distraction from Scott Morrison's main game, winning lower house seats. No, no, no. No horn. <laughs> the Prime Minister sounding the alarm over independence in Indi as the Coalition tries to turn the seat blue on Saturday. What you making? While in Karangamite, the Liberals are spending up big to help Sarah Henderson keep her grip on the electorate, an estimated $27,000 per person. So we make no apology for the fact we're investing in the future of this region. Absolutely none. We're absolutely committed it. It's the cost of the Coalition's campaign spending that will be in focus tomorrow when its election costings are released. There's set to be a slight change from the budget handed down just last month. Our spending uh, through this campaign has been minimal uh, compared to what Labor's uh, high spending uh, has been through this campaign. 36 hours before people vote. Last time they did that was 2013 and of course the real cuts came in the 2014 budget. With just three days to go, the election campaign seems to have exhausted Darwin's psychic crocodile, the croc eventually choosing Bill Shorten, while both leaders want to be tasting victory on Saturday. James O'Doherty, Sky News, Sydney.